Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have learned a lot about algebraic expressions. So now it is time that we talk a little bit about equations. So how are equations and expressions different from each other? Now let's say I tell you what is this 3x minus 2. So this is a mathematical phrase where you have constants like 3 and 2, you have variables like x and you have operators like minus and multiply. So this is definitely an algebraic expression. Now if I ask you, can you find out the value of the variable x because 3 and 2 are constants, so they have fixed values. But x can have any value that we want. So can you find out the value of x? Now, in this case, you might say that, okay, x can be 0. So, if x is 0, then the value of this expression will be equal to 3 into 0 minus 2, that is minus 2. If x is 1, then the value of expression would be 3 into 1 minus 2, which is 1. If the value of x is 2, then the value of the expression would be 3 into 2, that is 6 minus 2, that is 4. So, we observe that we can put any value of x, but the moment the value of x changes, the overall value of the expression also changes. Now, we make a slight change. So, if I say that instead of this, you are given this, that 3x minus 2 is equal to 7. And now if I ask you, can you find out the value of x? So, what happens in this case? The moment we give, we enter this equality sign into this entire thing, the entire meaning changes. Now, if you say that if we put x is equal to 0, then what happens? Then the left hand side is equal to 3 into 0 minus 2, that is minus 2, right? Then the value of this expression is minus 2. But I am telling that the value of this expression should be equal to 7. That means x, is e x can never be equal to 0 because if x is equal to 0, the value of this expression will be minus 2. But I want the value to be equal to 7. That means x is equal to 0 is not possible here. What about x equal to 1? So if you put x equal to 1, your left hand side will be equal to 1. But we want the left hand side to be equal to 7. So x is equal to 1 is also not possible. Right? But the moment you think of a value, for example, if you think of a value like this, like if you think of x is equal to 3, then what happens to left hand side? So the left hand side becomes 3 into 3 is 9 minus 2, that is 7. So in this case, your left hand side is equal to your right hand side. This is what we wanted. So that means x is equal to 3 is possible. So what is the difference? Now in the first case, when there was no equality sign, we saw that x could take any value. It was possible for x to take any value, but the moment value of x changes, the value of the expression also changes. But the moment we included this equality sign, x could take only a specific value. So now x can only take the value 3. Other than 3, if you put any other value, the relationship doesn't hold true or the equation doesn't hold true. So this is where the algebraic expression and algebraic equation differs. So the moment we talk about an algebraic equation, there is an equality sign involved in it. So there, there are certain things on the left hand side, there are certain things on the right hand side and we need to ensure that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Now, what is identity then? You might say that okay, that's equation and expression, but what's identity? So identity is also an equality which is true for every value of the variable in it because just now we saw that the equation was true only for a specific value of the variable that is only for x is equal to 3 the equation was true but identity is that type of an equa equation or an equality which is true for every value of variable in it. Now that sounds a little weird but let us take an example and understand it. Let us suppose that you have an identity or an equation like this x plus 3 into x plus 3 is equal to x square plus 6x plus 9. Let's say this is this is an equation right because you have an algebraic expression on the left hand side, you have an algebraic expression on the right hand side and you have an equality sign in between. So this is definitely an equation. Now if I ask you to find out the value of x. 
So let us try with some random values of x. What if I put x is equal to 0? So in th that case, the value of left hand side would be 0 plus 3, that is 3, multiplied by 0 plus 3, that is 3. So 3 into 3 would be 9. And what would be the value of the right hand side? It would be 0 squared is 0, plus 6 into 0 is again 0, plus 9. So this would also be 9. So we see, left if for x is equal to 0, this equation holds true. So x is equal to 0 is a possible value for this equation. Let's try with x equal to 1. What would be the value of left hand side? This would be 1 plus 3 that is 4 multiplied by 4 which is 16. What would be the value of the right hand side? It would be 1 square is 1 plus 6 into 1 is 6. So 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 9 would be 16 again. So with x is equal to 1 also left hand side is equal to right hand side. Right? Let's try with x is equal to 2. So in that case, left hand side is equal to 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 into 5 would be 25. What about right hand side? In right hand side, it is 2 square is 4 plus 6 into 2 is 12. So 12 plus 4 is 16, 16 plus 9 is 25. So x is equal to 2 is also a possible value. Now if you keep on putting any value of x for this particular equation, you would see that the equation holds true. So this is different from what we discussed in the previous slide. In the previous slide, we saw that for that particular equation, the equation was true only for one value of x, that is x is equal to 3. But here, this equation is true for all values of x. So this type of an equation is not called just an equation. This is called an identity. So an identity is just an algebraic expression with a special property that it holds true for all values of the variables in it. That is, this equation is true for any value of x. So that is identity. Now, many a times people have confusion between equation and identity. So I am dedicating this special slide to clearly distinguish between equation and identity. So one simple difference between equation and identity is that an equation is true for only certain values of variables in it, whereas an identity is true for all values of variables in it. So this is the major difference between these two. So let us take an example and understand the same. So let us suppose you have an equation 3x minus 2 is equal to 9. So if you try to put different values of x like x equal to 0, x equal to 1. So what happens? So in this case, this is an equation. Okay, so therefore on the left hand side, when you put x is equal to 0, left hand side is minus 2 and right hand side is 9 and they are not equal. So x equal to 0 is not a possible value for this particular variable in this equation. If you put x is equal to 1, then left hand side is equal to 1 and right hand side is equal to 9. So again they are not equal. So x equal to 1 is also not a possible value, possible solution for this equation. Try with x equal to 11 by 3. Then what happens? Then your left hand side is equal to 9, right hand side is also 9. So that means x is equal to 11 by 3 is the only value which holds true for this equation. That means this equation is true only for x is equal to 11 by 3, not for all values of x. So that proves that it, this is an equation and not an identity. Now let us take another example. Let's take this example. x square minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 into x minus 1. So when you look at it at the first go, this is also an equation. You have two algebraic expressions with an equality sign in between. Now let's try with different values of x. So when you put x is equal to 0, left hand side is equal to minus 1. Right hand side is equal to minus 1. That is x is equal to 0 could be a possible solution. You put x is equal to 1. So in that case, left hand side is equal to 0. Right hand side is equal to 0 again. So therefore, x is equal to 1 could also be a possible solution. Put x is equal to 2. In that case, left hand side is equal to 3. Right hand side is equal to 3 as well. So that means this particular equation holds true for all the values of variable that is x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or any value. So this shows that this is not an equation but this is an identity. So this is how an equation is different from an identity. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.